My phone 6. Buy now. My phone 7. Buy now. My phone 9. Buy now. New laptop. New buy now. 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 How many cell phones did you buy in your entire life? 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 12. Hmm. Maybe, how many cell phones did you buy in just last 3 years? 1, 2, 3, 4. But I am more interested to know, where do you dispose your electronic devices? Do you just throw it away? And where does it go? I'll tell you. Landfills. Yes, almost 80% of electronic devices ends up with landfills. When you change your electronic devices with the newer one, it becomes an electronic waste. And we, we human, we are so addicted with the newer technology, we just buy and buy and buy and buy and buy without even concern about our environment which leads to a huge pile of a pile of electronic waste. India is the fifth largest producer of electronic waste. When it comes in contact with sunlight and water, it produces harmful toxic chemicals, which are highly dangerous for our environment and human body health as well. But why? Why it is happening? Why we have so much electronic waste? There are four major reasons. Number one, lack of awareness of disposal of electronic waste. Number two, use and throw culture society. Number three, improper recycling in clay market. And number four, planned obsolescence. Now, what is planned obsolescence? These companies, these companies are very smart. They make product in a such a way that after a certain period of a time, it will become useless. I grew up in Sanjay Colony, a typical slum in Delhi. Maybe you don't know how slum looks like. Where more than 50,000 people live together at one congested place. Life is not easy. So much pollution, shared bathroom, no privacy, no proper hygiene, no proper health care. At the age of 12, my parents, they left us because of my mother's health condition. She was suffering from diabetes. Now, I stayed with my brothers and they all were working, so I had to do my all household work. Like cooking the food, cleaning it, washing the clothes, hanging them, filling the gallons of water. And in the night, yeah, this size of this size of my room was. This was the size. I have to clean the space because I have to sit. I have to sleep on the floor. Sometimes I just feel scared from the cockroaches. And sometimes I just had to sit and sleep because of the leakage of rainwater from the ceiling. On top of it, I have to study. When I was in my high school, we couldn't manage to pay my school fee. So I started working as a newspaper delivery boy. Despite all the difficulties, I managed and completed my high school and my engineering as well. When I was in my engineering, when I was in my engineering, I faced the problem to not to have a computer, which becomes barrier in my learning later. But somehow, I managed and completed my engineering. Later on, I got a job. And my job is to break functioning computers for recycling company. Can you imagine? I can't afford a computer, and now my job is to break functioning computers. I quit my job and went for higher studies. 
during the time we created a space for youths to help them in their studies in my community no one of them had access to computer one day i gave my laptop to a girl and i was surprised to see how much she could learn in just one day there are many youths like her who have dreams but do not have access and exposure to computer therefore my organization planet rakshak wants to become a bridge between these two big social issues at one hand we human we are just generating so much electronic waste without even concern about our environment and at the same time other side of hand there are many youth who do not have access to computer being an engineer I want to change the direction. I want to change the direction of electronic waste to resource and provide all functioning computer to the students. As a vision, I want to see a world where every electronics users are responsible and accountable to dispose their electronic waste at designated place and protect our environment from landfills. Sorry, sorry. Excuse me. Hello, this is Planet Rakshak. How may I assist you? I am watching your dream speech right now, and I have a laptop. Can you guide me what to do with it? Ah, oh, well, thank you so much for calling. You can easily go to our website, which is www.planetrakshak.org. For more information, let's have a look. Do you have a gadget, and you don't know how to dispose of it properly? Here we are. Planet Rakshak bring your old cell phones and laptops to us we offer two different services functioning gadgets will be donated to students who cannot afford one non functioning devices will be disposed of responsibly by sending them to environmentally friendly recyclists by reducing the e waste mountain you will be rewarded a rakshak score the longer you have used your gadget the higher the score you will receive planet rakshak to create responsible electronic users.